Happy New Year. This year is going to be an amazing year because you will have the six decisions to create the future that you want. And today I have a planning system that I'm going to show you how to use so you can create your best year yet. Hi, I am Olympia LaPointe, host of Answers Unleashed, seen on AnswersUnleashed.com and author of my latest book, Answers Unleashed 2, The Science of Attracting What You Want. In the book, I speak about a new process to make decisions called quantum deciding. It is when you use the past memories that you have, in addition to where you see yourself in the future, combined to your current present day power to make decisions and that combination gives you the winning combination to make effective decisions to create the future that you want and it's coined quantum deciding in order to create your best future you have to know the six key decisions in order to create that future and so as a result i created the quantum deciding planner it's a yearly planning system with calendar photos as well as thought-provoking journaling exercises so you can print out the planner and answer the questions so you can actively make decisions to create your best year yet. The planner is for individuals and it's a downloadable planner and it's also for corporations and organizations. If you are an individual wanting to create your best future or your corporation looking to combine resources and see a vision that everyone will move towards, this quantum deciding planner is for you. So this particular video, the quantum deciding planner is described to you in detail. So you will know how to use it once you download it, as well as give you the tools and resources to use the planner effectively so you can create your best year yet. All right, we're going to take a look at the planner and I'm going to describe the planner to you so you have the tools and the resources that you need. Welcome to the Quantum Deciding Planner. This year, 2023, the theme is Bold Decisions. And it's my Quantum Deciding Planner. You can go to answersunleashed.com slash 2023 QD Planner to download a copy of this planner that is a gift for a limited time. It's a planning system and it's a science-backed yearly planning system with six decision blocks for leaders focused on building their best future success. It is a full on book that's downloadable that you can print out the pages that you would like. It has the planner system, it has journaling plans, it has a three-step action plans, it has 52 weekly planner sheets. Welcome to the new year. It is 2023 and this quantum deciding planner is going to help you bridge the past to the future so you can make the decisions to move into the direction that you want. It's almost like a time machine. By making these key decisions, you actually navigate towards the future that you would like. The Quantum Designing Planner has several parts. It has an introduction, the planning system, how you see yourself in the future, the three-step planning, the present you monthly deciding uh, goals, as well as the daily planning system and extra notes at the end. The Quantum Deciding Planner is a daily planning system designed by me, an award-winning rocket scientist and author. The science Back system helps you focus on your best future by helping you make six key decisions for attracting the future that you want. The system empowers you to reprogram your brain to invest into your core values and priorities. The Quantum Deciding Planner is published yearly and has exercises to help you attract new opportunities each calendar year. Now, the theme of this year is bold decisions. And I purposely put my photo on the monthly calendar sections in which we're gonna to get to later because I would like you to be courageous and bold. I remember years ago, I'm 
remember tutoring a, a adult student who went back to school for mathematics and she was so scared of mathematics and she put my card on her desk when she studied mathematics and I asked her why do you put my business card on your desk she told me something that will always stay with me she said every time I look at your photo I am reminded that I can do the impossible so I kept that in the back of my head and I realized how many other people feel the same way. As a result, I decided to place photos in the monthly part and as the introduction here to inspire all of us to be courageous and bold. Uh, I love images and I love inspiring people through just beautiful photos. So I would like you to hold this decision for 2023 in your mind. And this is what you're going to say to yourself. I will be bold and seek out the experiences that I would like to have in my life. This year is about bold decisions. Leaders make decisions that are wise and bold. And if you are reading this planner, you are a leader striving for meaning and purpose in life. Boldness will be your asset. And this planner will help you do that in 2023. Now, the theme is bold. The energy you bring with you everywhere is a gift. This year, focus on unique energy, and that action will require boldness in being you. You have this innate ability to see things in a new light and listen to others so answers can be found. So this year, becoming more bold, more sure of yourself, and confident will lead you to your success this year. Allow yourself to find and have the success. You do not Give yourself enough credit so this year you will change so you meet your goals. The Quantum Designing Planner has three different sections, and I'm going to lay out these sections so it's really clear for the reader. Section one is seeing your future in detail. This is where you're going to journal. This is where you place your work into creating your future. Section two is the three-step planning, journaling your values and understanding how to reprogram your brain with what you want out of life. And the third step, and the third section rather, is your monthly goal setting. This is where you make decisions and the images that will inspire you to think out of the box is in this monthly section. So daily planners give you the opportunity to take action and make new decisions. Welcome to 2023. I'm going to describe to you section one, which is the system. There is a system and it comes from my latest book, Answers Only to the Science of Attracting What You Want. And the system is profound and I'm going to describe to you the quantum deciding system so you really truly hone in on what this means. The Quantum Designing Planner is a system, and if you want to attract new opportunities in 2023, it's time to know the quantum deciding science. Discover the six types of life-changing decisions that you will make in this coming year. So you make decisions with three parts of you. This is the quantum deciding, and it spans time. The past you, the present you, and the future you. You attract opportunities by making effective decisions with three parts of your decision making. It's your past, present, and your future. See, the future you is the part of you that envisions your future and you see your best future and you devise your strategies for success. The past you is the part of you who holds memories from your past and defines your personal values and priorities, and this is where you feel appreciated. The present you is where you make decisions, and this part it unites past experiences and new opportunities. With this three part of your thinking process and decision making process, you create a quantum deciding system within your brain as well as in the environment around you. All three parts of you together think in six dimensions. When you make decisions with three parts of your being, the past, present, and future, you actually create what I call a quantum deciding phenomenon. This is when your thinking and decision-making spans time and space and 
this part of you helps you target your best future. It's like actually going to Mars. You just don't shoot into space randomly. You have a set time, a set position, and you launch from Earth and you devise a path, a pathway to Mars so you actually reach that destination. This process of looking at your life in these six different dimensions is the creating is the way that you create a pathway to your future. It's through the six different dimensions of your deciding. The first is your faith, how you see yourself in the world, your identity, which is specifically how you contribute uniquely as an individual in your environment. And that brings us to your intent. You have the ability to change every environment that you're in. Your learning is how you choose to learn information and discard things that are not accurate. Your resources, your fifth part of your deciding, which is how you choose to multiply what you have for your success. And the last is your relationships. I call this the love and time. This is how you create relationships with yourself and other people to span time. With these six different ways of making decisions, you actually start attracting what you want into your life so you experience what you want. The system comes from mathematics. And if you do not know, I am a mathematician. And I branch this process from Albert Einstein's quantum physics, specifically his quantum entanglement theory. See, when you make decisions with the three parts of you, the past, present, and future, together you invoke what I call a quantum physics type of phenomenon. And there's science principles proven with my mathematics to show you that you have power in your decisions and your decisions count. Albert Einstein said that everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics, Albert Einstein said. And I take that theory and I take it a step farther with the quantum deciding approach. This is my quote. Our thoughts contain energy and our decisions direct this energy into the future that we want. Our decisions form a unique mathematical function that converts energy to match a new reality. The best math for us to learn is how to make our decisions count. This is quantum deciding. Specifically, you have to know your six decisions. Quantum deciding has six decisions and you don't have to know the math and you don't have to know the science, but rather all you have to know is the six decisions. By making the, by, by making the decisions, the math automatically invokes itself, meaning the science properties that draws your best life to you is already happening when you make these decisions so you can create your new future and bring it into existence. The six decisions that count are these, and it can be for an individual or it can be for a corporation. LP, this is your life purpose. I look at this as the faith part. And this is for your individual understanding of you have a purpose in life. In the business world, in the corporate world, this would be called your values. The idea is your identity, how you see yourself in the world. In the corporate area, this is your branding. IT is your intent. This is how you uh, change situations and environments. In the corporate world, this is your prioritizing. The LN is your learning. For an individual, this is how you learn new information and you discard what's old that's no longer serving you or how you discard fake news. In corporations, this is called gathering data. RS is your resources. This is how you take what you have and you multiply it so you can create, so you can create something that's absolutely amazing. And in corporations, this is what we call building. LVT is love and time. This is how you have a relationship with yourself and other people. 
in corporations, this is called task success. This is where you demonstrate that what you have learned, you are actually moving forward to develop a relationship of success in your company. So when you know these six decisions, you can become extremely successful in your personal life as well as your corporate life. I go into detail in the planner and there's more charts and more information that clearly defines these six different decisions that count with your life purpose, your identity, your intent, your learning, your resources, and your love and time. And with these decisions, you create your year, you create your month, you create your day, you create your week. So I'm excited to share this with you. This process all starts with you. And if this process comes from my book and this process helps you reprogram your thinking to overcome fear. So you start making the decisions to turn on your frontal brain lobes that's responsible for your creative problem solving and your solution finding abilities. And this is where the executive decision making areas in your brain lies, the frontal brain lobes. When we turn that on, we overcome fear and we start making decisions that count. Section two is the future you. You have to actually see yourself in the future as a way to navigate to where you're going to go. Without seeing where you're going to travel to, there's no way for you to create plans to get there. So this next section, which is the future you section, gives you the opportunity for you to envision your future. No one else can do this. Your coworker can't do this. Your mom can't do this. Your spouse can't do this. What you have the opportunity to do is to see yourself and connect with yourself in the future and find out the best strategy for you to move forward. Seeing the future you is a gift. And in this planner, I help you do that. If you want to be successful, you must see yourself before the success happens. There is a skill to becoming successful and it requires seeing the future you doing great things. In this section, I give you journaling exercises and I just find what each one of these decision blocks are and help you apply it to your own life. These help you define, for example, this is the LP, this is the life purpose. This helps you define what you're going to contribute and do in 2023. That's going to be unique to you. I also give you the opportunity to see yourself accomplishing certain tasks, and you're going to write down what you see yourself doing. Now, remember, no one can do this except you. And if you're in a corporate environment, only you can uh, really envision the success that you can bring to the table in a group setting. This is done for all the decision blocks in this example is the resource building. So there's decision blocks and journaling exercises for all the decisions that exist. This next part of the planning system is the past you part. In order to effectively move forward, you have to know what you are passionate about. The past you, what you have gone through, gives you a clue on what's going to motivate you to move forward to accomplish the really hard tasks that are waiting for you, but it's going to give you the encouragement to get through it so you can see success. The three-step planning is in this area. If you want opportunities to come into your life, it's time to become better at making decisions. Allow the past you to reveal your values. So in this section, it's a downloadable planner. The entire planner is downloadable. You can actually print out the sections in which is going to be right for you. In this part, we do a three-step planning. This is where you envision where you want to see yourself in the future. And we already did some of that in the previous section. Also, what we're going to do is reprogram our brain here. And we're going to create action steps so that new reprogramming takes hold in our brain. I speak about this in my TED Talk, Reprogramming Your Brain to Overcome Fear. And I really hone it in for your particular situation here in this section. 
You want to envision your future and then you want to identify your value and create a statement based on your value. And then you want to create a plan of action to reinforce that value. If you will, your reprogramming statement is like the contract and the commitment that you have for yourself or the organization. And then your action statement and step is what you do to reinforce how you are good on your word, how you are great with commitment and how you follow through to deliver what it is that you're going to do in your life or th your organizations. In your 2023 vision, what you want to do is first envision what you'd like. You're going to list your three top purposes, which you see yourself in your particular year. You're going to list your three top ways that you'd like to be known, the three top ways uh, you would like to uh, have or change situations, the three top ways that you'd like to learn, the three top ways you'd like to grow, as well as the three top insights you'd like in your relationships. So you get a chance to identify each one of these areas in your life with what you'd like to envision for this year, as well as years to come. Once you've done that, you're going to identify the values that you have in each one of the categories. Each one of these six decision blocks has a value. You're going to identify your value. And for me, let's say an example here is honesty. Now, what you want to do is you want to create a brain reprogramming statement that focuses on a value. For example, honesty is something that's really important to me. So a brain reprogramming statement that I'd have is I will always be honest with myself this year about how I am feeling. That statement is the commitment that I have, the contract that I'm making with myself and every single action that I would be making is based on that value. And as I make decisions where I am always honest with myself and how I'm feeling in certain situations and address that is how I feel good about moving forward with new decisions. And it allows me to reprogram my brain from the inside out so it's easier for me to make decisions. This is one particular example, but there's a list of different values here that you have the opportunity to print out and take a look at that will help you understand what drives you and what you're passionate about. You're going to list the three top values in your life purpose, your how you identify yourself and how you like to be known, the three top uh, values for situations, what type of situations you'd like, three top values for how you'd like to learn, three top values on what you'd like to own or multiply, and three top values regarding love in your relationships. And then you're going to construct for you, no one else, reprogramming statements. This is your statement that gives you the contract with yourself this year. And every single person's statement will be unique. And if you're working for an organization, it may be the reprogramming statement for your, your division, be, maybe be the reprogramming statement for your group or for your team. But in any case, you want to construct these reprogramming statements because that gives you the pathway of what what checks out as the correct direction in which you're going and moving towards the future. It's like your GPS statement. When you are following this particular statement, it shows you you're going the right direction. And then lastly, you want to create your action list. Your top three actions that you would like to take to prove to yourself that you're actually following through. You want to list the top three actions that you're going to take based on your reprogramming statement to show you're doing the right thing. And for me, the thing for me was honesty. So the the action statement for me is, is I would always want to state the truth when I'm speaking, because that would be the confirmation for me that I'm valuing honesty. And that's something that is for me. You have your own value. What you want to do is list the actions that you plan to take in each one of these categories to confirm to yourself that your reprogramming statement is going to take hold in your brain. And I give examples here for you to read 
about a desire reprogramming statement and an action to give you more clarity on how to construct this for yourself. And again, you can print this out uh, from the downloadable planner. Section three is the present you. There is no other better place or time to make decisions other than the present moment. The past you can't do that. The future you can't do that. It's the present you who has the power to make decisions. So 2023, this present moment is where you bridge the past with the future by making decisions. In this next part that comes up, I have beautiful photos, and these photos are geared towards giving you confidence. And I I actually look at my own photos, and it gives me confidence as well. So as I created this, I created these stunning photos to inspire everyone to move forward and move forward in grace and confidence. The present you monthly deciding part has this one key aspect. You must be the change that you wish to see in the world. Change starts with you. So what you're going to do is allow the present you to improve your experiences with new decisions. As you start mastering your decisions, your new decisions, it is best to focus on one decision block at a time every month. Mastering each decision block in a 30-day period gives you a new positive habit. After 30 days, our brain actually rewires itself and it creates like new dendrites. And if you're not familiar with what a dendrite is, a dendrite is where you house information. For example, the brain contains billions of dendrites and one dendrite alone in the human brain can contain much as much information as the entire world wide web. That's how powerful our brains are. So when we take a, a decision and we invest into it and we keep it in our mind for 30 days, we actually create new dendrites in our head where we have more information to store. See, it's really important because as we focus on one decision block per month, we reprogram our brain from the inside out to turn on the frontal brain lobe so we start making decisions easier. So for example, January, uh, January is the ID, it's the identity decision block and that this is, the decision blocks are located here on the bottom right hand corner. And the theme for January is your identity. And for example, January's deciding moment is based on identity and it reads this, when you are genuine about who you are, what you love and how unique you are, you attract situations that bring you more joy. These situations give you insight to your next decisions for success. So what you would want to do in January is tell yourself, this year, I will stop making myself small for people who think I am too much. And I purposely put that quote and that statement in there for all of us to focus in on January, because that's the theme of being bold. We have to sometimes see ourselves as unique, someone that is not a part of the mold. And I paired that with this particular photo. Uh, and my mother, Pamela Point, is the one who takes most of the photos. And I wanted to just really highlight her beautiful photography here. Um, I purposely wore this bold combination and took this photo and included it for January because it's out of the norm. And I wanted to inspire us to be out of the norm in January. And I purposely put my photo there too, is because I want to have you always remember that I am looking at you and coaching you to move forward. Even though it may seem difficult, I'm there always to support you one way or another. And I love the photos because it reminds you and I of that. January is one example. February is another. I have photos for all the different months. This particular month is February, love and time, relationships. The LVT is the decision block that you focus on in February. And the writing for February is this. When you are always concerned about everyone else, you lose the ability to be concerned about you. When you hear your thoughts, feelings, and recommendations, your relationship with yourself deepens. As a result, people become more genuine with you because you are deep with yourself. So February's decision is something very powerful, and it's something that's 
powerful for all people. And it is this year, I will stop trying to convince people I'm worthy of their love, promotion, and attention before they have proven they are worthy of my same level of effort. So many times we put our energy into places in which is not being returned. And sometimes we can prioritize that energy towards developing ourselves. So this month of February, I want you to keep this statement in mind and focus on developing yourself so you have enough to pour into other people's lives. And beautiful photos and statements are for all the months. And each month you focus on a particular thought as well as an action that's associated with that. Learning is for March and there's a statement specifically for March. April is resources, again, here located at the bottom and your resources are, are you're given a decision for your resources section in April. In May, your intent, your shifting situations, uh, Sometimes you have to be the one to change the situation and be willing to be changed and pulled in another direction or led in another direction in certain situations. And there's a natural force that allows that. Uh, if you are not aware, I am Native American. And this particular May has Native American information that will guide us in an effective decision for May. June is sometimes we have to have faith that a situation is going to work out. June has a great decision about leaning away from familiar patterns and leaning into unknown possibilities. And again, this is a beautiful photo. This was taken by my mother, Pamela LaPointe. It's just such a stunning photo, and I really liked how it captured faith, which is being able to see and believe in the unknown and know that it will eventually exist and come to pass. July has its own statement, too. I'm excited for you to read that. August has their statement, as well as a photo that's just very stunning. This particular photo was taken by Todd Tyler a celebrity photographer, and it was just an amazing uh, photo shoot with him. Uh, another photo for September. My mother is the photographer here. And I, I love September's decision. This month, I give myself permission daily to let go of and throw out the old, and I allow new beginning to take hold. Identity is October. November is intent. December is love and time. So each month has a theme and a way that we reprogram our brain for certain situations. And again, I love stunning photos and I love stunning imagery because it really hones in how beautiful life is. Daily planning. It's time to write down your vision and priorities each day. These are coupled with actions for your success. You can print each week. So that's exciting for you. Each month has a great saying, and it also has a calendar, and it also has uh, sections for you to write information on. So this is where you see your calendar. You have a statement for that month. And with that, you have notes. Now, whatever note that you'd like, uh, to note or jot down, you have the opportunity to do so on the notes for the month section, as well as you identified those action steps that will help reprogram your brain. So what you want to do is in this goal section of the monthly goals, what you want to do is write down those action steps that you promised yourself where you were going to do. And you're actually going to include some of that here in each month to remind yourself how to prove to yourself that you are committed to you to your reprogramming statement. Each month has its own beautiful site. This is an example for April. This is an example for May, October. They also come with planning sheets. You can print out these planning sheets per week 
And again, this is a downloadable planner. And when you print out the planning sheets, it gives you opportunity to write down important tasks for the day, as well as the decisions and tasks that you have for that week, as well as notes that you have specifically for that week. So you have the ability to jot this down. And there are 52 of these planner sections for you. And that is the daily planning section. There's also extras. And this is important to keep track of your new decisions and actions. So this is just an extra part. You don't have to fill this out. But if you'd like to capture anything else and something uh, came to you in addition, some of my training programs, if they have any additional information they want to put down, they can go back here to this section and write their life purpose statement, their reprogramming statement, their action plans. And it's a way for them to summarize it in the back that gets them more information. I hope that you have enjoyed this presentation. You can write different notes on this. If you'd like to have more information, you're welcome to go to answersunleashed.com slash quantum deciding planner, where you can look at this year as well as last year's, as well as when 2024 comes, you can go to answersunleashed.com slash quantum deciding planner and pick up the 2024 quantum deciding planner. So I hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial on how to use the Quantum Designing Planner. Again, the planner is for leaders and it is a monthly planning system and weekly and daily planning system to help you move towards the future that you want through six key decision steps that are backed by science. I hope that you have enjoyed this, this short video. Tune in for more information at AnswersUnleashed.com and you can download a complimentary planner for a limited time at AnswersUnleashed.com slash 2023QD planner. I am Olympia LaPointe and I hope you have enjoyed this educational video on how to use the Quantum Deciding Planner. I'll see you next time. Visit AnswersUnleashed.com.